Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Let's Talk About Cigars. My name is Dutch Cigars. Today we're going to test out the new regional for Holland. So uh, let's light one up. It is finally time for another cigar review. It's been a while, uh, but I'm starting with something good. Because I'm starting with the new regional edition for Holland. This one is from La Flor de Cano, as you can see. And it's a Robusto, very nice size of course for a, for a regional cigar. It's the first time they did a regional cigar for Holland uh, with La Flor de Cano. Um, I had the Italian one, um, I heard great stories about the Canadian one. So I'm very, very curious to see this one, to smoke this one. Uh, we just got it in, they're fresh out of the box. Uh, we got 200 boxes in on this day. Uh, most of it is already sold, I guess. So if you guys like it, um, let me know. Well, if I like it, I will let you know. Um, and if you want to order or pre-order, uh, the link will be in the description below. Because if it's anything like the Italian one, the hype will be very big around this one. Especially for this price, 9 euro 50. That's including tax. So uh, for you guys from outside of the EU, it is 7 euros 50, 7 euro 80, something like that. 75 euro and 81 cents, I believe, for the box. So that's dirt cheap for a good Cuban cigar. Well, let's see if it's good. I hope so, but let me show you the cigars and then, of course, we will light it up. So here we have the box, of course, with all the ugly stickers up on, uh, on it. La Flor de Cano, 10 Robustos, and 10,000 boxes made. Luckily we have a lot of lower numbers, within the under a thousand and in the in thousands. Well, let's open it up. Of course, you have to see the wood. Official Habanos, some text about the cigar, and here they are. So this is a lighter box. I also found a couple of very nice dark ones. Let me smell for a second. Oh, they smell great. Look at them. So this is not the same band as you normally see of La Floricano. This is the first one. For Holland, this regional, and they look damn good, especially for that price. So let's light one up and tell you a little bit more about it. It's time to cut the cigar. I'm using my favorite color for that. Let's see how this goes. Yes. That looks good. That looks good. My lighter. So, the wrapper smells a bit, a bit fruity and the feet, the inside definitely smells like a farm, manure, that, that type of smells. So that's an that's a interesting combination. Yeah, the outside is definitely more fruity. So, so the other ones. The Italian, especially the Italian one, was a very, uh, it was a strong cigar. It was a strong cigar. It's been a while since I had it, but I can still remember that it was a strong cigar. It was a very uh, un-Cuban like strongness for, for a new cigar. So with the Italian one, there was a little bit of peppery in it. Uh, of course, that's, that's, that's youngness, but I can remember that it was a cigar that I uh, it wasn't a morning cigar for me. I needed something on my stomach, not, not a cigar before breakfast, and uh, no. And if this, this is anything like that, I'm going to love it. Hmm. Not even. That's the dog again. 
Sorry, this is the dog. He's uh, coughing. Yeah, we have a dog. It's the it's the it's the dog in the store, the Labradoodle. Well, the draw is excellent, as you can see. It's very very light draw. I can take a little puff and um, yeah. Lots of smoke, I like that. So, taste wise, um, actually, not a lot of peppery. Uh, yes, it's, it's, it's young. Uh, in the box date on this March 2019. So, yes, it is a very fresh cigar. But It's actually quite tasty. It is. It is on the stronger side, absolutely. But with the Italian one, I I, I remember there was a lot of the peppery, a lot of the the young young taste. Not that much with this one. I'm very I'm very pleased with this. So La Floricano, small company. Uh, it's always been a small one. Um, they also make a lot of the, the medium or short filler cigars for the Cubans. So it's normally another brand with, a, with, with expensive cigars. I think the most expensive one they made is like 5 euros, 6 euros, something like that. Maybe not even. Not a lot of stores have the brand in stock. Uh, we don't have it here. But they make a great regional apparently. Oh well, not apparently. I knew the, the Italian was good. And, well, I heard good stories about the Canadian, like I said, but they make good regionals. The, all the tobacco is from the Pinot del Rio area, so it's great tobacco. It's, of course, it's a full, uh, um, fuller cigar, but very good. They make some nice long fillers. Yeah. I don't know how it's rolled because it feels like it's it's been rolled rolled very good, but the draw is very easy. So I think you can smoke this quite quick. But it doesn't bother me at all. Okay, um, I'm going to make a nice double espresso. Look how let's see how that how that combination is, and I will see you somewhere here. I'm going to enjoy this. See you later. As you can see, I've been enjoying the cigar. Nice ash cone. I normally never have that. Probably when I turn the cigar now it will all fall off, but it was worth trying. Oh, not even. So, like I said, even though the cigar has a very, very easy draw, it smokes very easily, um, it's rolled very good. It doesn't feel on the field or anything like that. The draw has been excellent so far. Uh, the taste, great. It's not a morning cigar. Uh, well, with a good breakfast, it's and, and you're a, uh, you've, you've been smoking cigars for a long time. You have a good stomach for it. It can be a good uh, morning cigar because there's a lot of flavor in it. But I think uh, for a beginner, I wouldn't recommend this cigar. Um, I think for a Cuban cigar it's quite heavy, not, not when you compare it of course to a Nicaragua or something like that, but for a Cuban cigar it's on the full side. But it doesn't really bother me because the, the taste is very good. There's a lot of flavor in it. Let me see if I can still keep the, the ash gone. Perfect. Okay, so like I said, it's a Robusto. There's nothing fancy about the Vitola, it's just a normal Robusto cigar. Um, ring gauge 50 and 124 millimeters long. It's just... I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with it. It's always, uh, it's always the question how will a regional cigar turn out. Uh, the last one we had here was the Por La Graga. I wasn't personally a big fan of that cigar, especially in the beginning. I had some draw problems with it, I had some taste problems with it. 
Poragar is also not my favorite brand in taste wise. Somehow um, I need to get used to that taste. There's a particular taste to it, it's not really my thing. Um, but I have to say, after a good year that it's out now, I smoked a couple more and they're starting to get good. But at the beginning, I wasn't happy with that cigar. I wanted to do a review and never came of it, but if I did a review of the first Poranaga regional that I smoked, it would have been, this sucks. <coughs> In this case, I'm very happy. Uh, when, they, um, when they announced that there will be a new regional cigar for us, we heard the price point would have been 9,50 euro and a Robusto, so we were happy with that. That's a good price point, a good size cigar, it's the, most, it's the best sold cigar size in the world. So, uh, yeah, of course we were happy with that. 10,000 boxes, uh, like I said, they're going very quick. We now have a couple of people also smoking in the lounge this cigar. Uh, thus far, everybody is very, very happy with it. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a good sign. Um, I'm probably going to smoke a lot more of them. Great price point, great taste. This is uh, definitely one for, uh, for the afternoons and for the dinner cigars. The good thing is, because of, uh, it's a little bit stronger, you have a lot of taste in it, it's perfect to pair with a stronger whiskey or a stronger rum. It won't overpower the cigar and you will, you will keep, keep having that nice flavor profile. Also, uh, with a double espresso like I just did, perfect. Sorry that I'm going to sit like this while smoking. I don't want to fall my white shirt that I have to wear the rest of the day. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the ash going like this. Yeah, I think this, uh, this cigar has a lot of potential in the future. So, investment side. I always talk about the investment side uh, of cigars. In this case, uh, this is a tough one, because the brand itself isn't a cigar that you would normally invest in. Absolutely not. But, seeing how the regional went in uh, Italy and Canada, uh, this might be an investment on the short term, because it, if it goes anything like the Italian, it will be hyped. Everybody will, will want one, especially for this price. So I think uh, in the short term, if you're from another country, you order like uh, 20 boxes, you can probably sell them for a bit more. It won't be a problem. I think then the hype will cool down, but I think in a couple of years, just with like the, 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 most of the other older regional cigars, there will be some sort of a hype around it. And the price definitely will go up. Uh, since it's just 95 euros here in Europe for a box, it's it's uh, worth the investment. It's an easy investment and uh, I think you, you, you can't go wrong with this. You can't go wrong buying a box of this. And I'm very curious to see how this goes in a few years. I might do a review in a few years again because I'm really curious. Um, now I'm going to enjoy the rest of it. Uh, I think um, the rest won't disappoint me. Can't believe it. So uh, my verdict is very nice cigar. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a thing now uh, that I, I don't want to make reviews of cigars uh, and, and trust me, I was always very critical about everything that I, I reviewed. Um, I always tell people who send me a product, if it sucks, I will tell people it sucks. You guys know that from me. So if this cigar would have sucked, I would have definitely told you guys. Don't worry. Uh, and in the future, uh, I will probably find a Cuban cigar that, that isn't my taste or isn't good or anything like that, something like that and I will tell you. Don't worry, I won't disappoint you on, uh, on that front. Okay, let me enjoy it and uh, smoke on people.